my client burst into happy tears. I hugged her. Um, I almost cried myself. It was such a good feeling. It's a verdict of not guilty for a Rancho Cordova woman charged with assaulting a police officer after deputies opened fire on her fleeing car back in November. Your reporter Ashley Sharp has been covering this case since the start. Ashley, what ended up proving her innocence? Hey guys, well, this body cam video actually played a big role. It proved to those jurors that Kariana Lyles' intent was never to harm those officers as she fled from them in her car. Now, before all of this unfolded, she actually called 911 herself that day, trying to find her missing dog, believing that it was in a neighbor's backyard. Well, that neighbor, too, called 911 on her, but ultimately decided not to press any charges. What would end with this encounter that day that landed Lyles behind bars for six months now tonight has her walking free. I feel that she was the victim and they were the ones that should have been prosecuted. Since day one, Carrie Clearman, public defender for Kiriana Lyles, has felt she was truly innocent. The second she looks up and sees Deputy Bollinger, she's applying her brakes. That shows that she's not intending to actually hit this officer. She's basically doesn't realize he's going to run in front of her. Lyles was charged with assault on a peace officer following this tense encounter with Rancho Cordova police. No, Step I out of the car, keep wrong. your hands. The video shows she refused what her defense team now calls an unlawful order to get out of her car in her driveway. The officer tries to physically pull her from the car. She reversed and fled. Officers claiming self-defense fired at her 10 times. These seconds of video showing the shooting were not allowed to be played for the jury during trial, dismissed as irrelevant by the judge. So the jury was missing a lot of that key evidence because of where it was clipped. Clareman today won the case without it. Lyles found not guilty on her felony assault charge. She spent six months of her life behind bars for something that she didn't do. If someone just really looked at that video, saw her breaking, and then saw these men trying to kill her, I think that it would be an easy decision to file charges against the people that actually did the crime. The officers aren't charged with a crime and are still on the job, but now they, the sheriff's office and Sacramento County are facing a federal lawsuit that claims this entire encounter start to finish violated Lyles' constitutional rights. So he didn't have any reason to be pulling her out of the car. He was not in lawful performance of his duties when he did that. Lyles' mother, Jamie, told me that with this lawsuit, she hopes to inspire change. A whole pattern of behavior of of just making the choice to exert force where it's not even called for and isn't even beneficial. Sacramento County Sheriff's Office telling me tonight that they couldn't comment on that not guilty verdict because of that pending civil lawsuit. But those deputies did testify at the trial. Their main defense in all of this, that they felt they were in danger by that moving vehicle and that they were firing those shots in self-defense. Now, Claremon today also, and throughout that trial also called attention to many injustices she felt during the entire process. One of them happening today when she said says that after that not guilty verdict, her client, Lyles, was at that point handcuffed and taken back into custody where she remained in jail for another six hours. She says that has happened in cases that she's tried before, but that is something about the justice system that she thinks should change.